East Meets West was actually from uh, the gentleman Dustin Brunson that identified what I do or the education that I've had uh, to me since a lot of my training has not just been with Chinese oriental medicine but also Western medicine, Western physical assessment and how as doctors of acupuncture and oriental medicine we have been taught to bridge the gap between Chinese medicine and Western medicine so that we can educate not just the public but other doctors, osteopaths, MDs, physical therapists, what have you. So for instance, if I'm talking to someone about chi and blood, they might go, whoa, like what is that? What does that mean? So when we're talking about chi, we're talking about energy or movement or circulation. So I might change my vocabulary or the way that I'm describing what's going on. I'm talking about um, somebody that has uh, blood deficiency. So they're like, what do you mean by that? And if I'm talking to a MD, I might say, oh, this patient is anemic. And they'll say, oh, I know what you're talking about. So uh, I believe that through the process of being uh, educated uh, in that way of bridging the gap, East meets West came, to, uh, came together uh, as, as Dustin kind of put his finger on it. And then my concept is really about preventative medicine lifestyle, what have you, so um, you have a happier, healthier life. And if you do get sick or injured, it won't be for very long or possibly just less severe.